attempt to do a deal. You snuck that in, Brexit. I did just. You've not mentioned it yet, just which is pretty astonishing. Bit. Now let's talk about the many people that might move overseas. They're looking for a job. Uh, it's just huge, isn't it, when you move countries and there's so much to do? Yeah, some may do so to start a better life. Some may do if they're moving with work. But all of that comes with a lot of paperwork and admin, and that includes opening a new bank account. But if you haven't got a financial history yet, or even a permanent address, how do you do that? Yeah, according to recent research, migrant workers make up around 18% of the UK's working population. Currently, there are just over 3.7 million EU citizens who've decided to make the UK their home. Well, one company that's helping migrant workers adapt to a normal life in the UK is a firm called Suits Me. It was founded in 2016 and currently has just over 10,000 members. Well, it suits Keith Poole. He's <laughs> Managing Director of Suits Me. Welcome to the programme, Keith. Uh, your company isn't that old, established in 2015, yeah. I believe. Uh, there's already other players in this market yeah. that are pretty established, have been for some time. Mm -hmm. Why did you get involved? We got involved because we, uh, my business partner, Matthew, actually ran a payroll company within his group of companies. And we noticed that there was a lot of people being paid by cheque or actually in front of the family account, so they didn't have like, secure access to the funds. Um, we actually looked at what was going on in the market, how difficult it was to open a UK bank account, especially for a migrant worker. And so we developed a system and a product that would, that would suit them. Explain how this works then, because most, as we touched on in the introduction, most banks, most you know, the, the big name high street banks will require you to show proof of address, maybe proof of income to get access yep. to that account. You don't need any of that. No, we, we, we approach Visa um, with a suggestion about a process for how we could actually uh, create these accounts for these people. Um, so we predominantly use a referrer network of employers and recruitment agencies. So when they come to the UK, part of the onboarding process is a banking function. So they're given the option of a Susan account. And people will pay you for the privilege of doing yeah. that. So most UK high street banks are free. Unless it's a premium account. account. Yeah. 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 Um, so you don't pay a charge for it, whereas you do for yours. So yes. that's where you make your money. Yeah, banking financial institutions across the world pay a background service fee, which we don't see as a normal UK bank high street account, if you will. We charge a monthly fee just under £10. Compare that to being paid by cheque. Um, you could get 15%. It could cost you to cash a cheque in high street. So that's about, roughly about £180 a month. So just under £10 is actually quite good value. Sounds very high risk mm -hmm. from your perspective at the company. How do you cover for that? And to what extent, you know, since you started, have you found that some of these uh, people you've issued bank accounts to can't follow through? Right. Uh, well, firstly, on, 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 the, on the risk side, we have or we follow the basic principles of anti-money laundering across the world. Uh, we also do additional checks in that as well. Um, in terms of access to funds, I think the most important thing is people have got access to the funds on a daily basis. But again, we also have checks within that of how money is moved, who it comes from, where it goes to, etc. Uh, and the people coming to you perhaps have very little experience of using a bank account. Maybe they used to be paid in cash. Yes. Uh, explain sort of part of your job is education, isn't yes. it, about how to use the bank account and the card and the chip and pin and all that sort yeah. of thing. But partly how to be part of a financial system. Yeah, and we... we um, through our blog, blog post, we have in place a number of instructional things of how to use an ATM machine, how to use online, safety security as well online. We have multilingual speakers in our business um, who obviously can support the people in their native language. We also have produced all our literature in 11 different European languages um, to support that as well. You enjoying it? Oh, I love it. I love it. We, we, we're actually dealing with an excluded group and we're actually helping them do something about it. And we're introducing them to the financial markets. Keith, it's really nice to see you. What's so interesting Thank about you. Keith's business, he was saying to us earlier as well, is that many of the people that they come just stay with the company three, four, five months and then move on to somewhere else. So it's sort of an interesting business in a sense that customers only stay with it for a short period of time. But Keith, thank you. Thank nice you. to see you. Right, let's talk about China now. It's expected to overtake the US as the biggest aviation market in the world in the next...